Ben Hunter for MBTV here with Mervyn Turner after what can only be well successful show, first show here in Essex. First show in Essex, first show in Braintree with the Braintree Home Fire and I don't think it gets better than that. It's really, really good show, really pleased to be in, in Braintree. Um, feeling, feeling the Essex love. Yeah. We um we've done a bit we see you with Nathan and, and Joe, so we know we're sort of in line for them, but Headliner Billy Bird. Um, where, where, where do we see things going? So Billy Bird? had a tough opponent tonight. Mm. That was a tough, tough fight for him. Um, Billy's still got a bit to learn, but he's now got to move on. And uh, you know, he's looking at sort of area level. Um, maybe not the next show, but probably the show after that. You just got to manoeuvre, you know, what boxing politics is like. and. Yeah. Uh, we just got to move a few, a few things behind the scenes and get him into a manager's position and uh, move him on from there. Something that's nice to see on the shows, um, lots of everyone come through at the same time. So you were sort of building them all at the same time. So the shows were sort of either a little bit shorter or there wasn't so many people boxing tonight. What a, what a setup to have a few four rounders, six rounders. It's uh, nice to eight have that. Eight yeah, rounders. On a show, it's nice to have that spread, and we had the spread tonight. We had um, you know, the, the four rounders with the, the guys coming through. You know, um, I think they're all, yeah, they're all second fights. Yeah. So they've had their debuts, this was their second fight. You know, a little bit of a step up, you've got to bring them through properly. Mm -hmm. um, can't rush them. But yeah, it was great to have those four rounders. Then, then the next batch you see, which was you know, coming through with the six rounders. And then of course having Nathan back was yeah, massive. really massive, massive for, for Nathan and for, and for the team. And um, <clears throat> shook off a lot of ring rust tonight, so I'm looking now for his next fight to be a lot sharper. And then uh, obviously Joe Home we spoke about. <laughs> um, don't know what I'm going to do with him, but yeah. he's ready to move on and uh, he's telling me that he can make welterweight. Yeah. Oh my God, if he can make welterweight yeah. and take that power with him, mm. then that's going to be something else. Something I said to him, it's a shame that the shows aren't on TV because with that sort of performance it would sort of springboard his name a little bit. But at the same time, if people are seeing him do that sort of damage to people, are they going to even want to step in the ring? Joe, um, we've got to keep Joe in, persp uh, in perspective really. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to see that sort of a knockout on TV, but th that's not what it's about really. Um, you know, he's got to learn his trade. Yes, he's got more power. Well, what happens when that raw power don't work? Yeah. So you've still got to bring them through at the right pace to give them learning fights. You know, don't forget Joe hasn't got a big amateur experience to fall back on. So you've got to bring them through at the right right pace, not get carried away. That's our job to keep our feet on the ground, not get carried away. You know, Graham and I will sit down, look at it, and go go f from there. And um, yeah, if he makes well to wait, then yeah. my God, watch out, the right way to visit. But um, yeah, let's just keep our feet on the ground. Let's do the, the right things as we always do. Yes, it'd be nice to have television. Everybody wants yeah, television, but yeah. listen, um, small boxing is where it's at. You know, that breeds the fighters for television. And I'm under no illusion, I'm a small hall promoter. And God bless us all for being out there because without us, we wouldn't have the TV no, exactly. promoters, you wouldn't yeah. have the TV fights. So it's our job to bring these guys through at the right pace, yeah. at the right time, in the right way. You know, um, whether they're ticket sellers or not, you know, they've still got to fight. Yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. the ticket sellers that can't fight get found out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, let's bring people through in the right way. Someone we always touch on and always say about what a dream it is of his, say from Morris, once again put in a performance of a lifetime. You know, whatever you, whatever's being put in so front of him, he's... Zathan's one of them people, listen, no amateur experience, you know, um, from a, a less than salubrious background, shall we say. He had it tough as a kid, his upbringing, everything else. You know, life just wasn't going the right way for Zathan. Yeah. Then he found boxing, he went on the white collar circuit, had a few fights, always dreamed of becoming a professional. Um, went in the gym and they all said, mm, he's A from you know, not yet mate, not yet, not yet. But he worked hard, worked hard, and do you know what? It gives me great pleasure to see yeah, his A from in there because he loves boxing. It's, 
I wouldn't say it saved his life, of course it didn't save his life, no. but it's made his life. Yeah. It's given him a purpose, Definitely. he's got a lovely family now, you know, and he actually loves being in there, he's so enthusiastic, you know, and uh, what, he's learning all the time, so that to wow. me is what boxing's about. People that love the sport, you know. That's and it's a sta something that's very much sort of built within your stable. Um, yeah, we're, all, we're all boxing people. Yeah. And we all love the sport. And, uh, you know, there was a bad knockdown t tonight. And um, we were all there yeah. making sure that guy was all right. You know, that, that's, that's an unfortunate coincidence of the sport that we're in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But at the end of the day, we're all sports people. We're professional sports people. And... Um, it's right throughout the stable. We build that in, into all of our fighters, you know. You've got to love it. It's, listen, it's too hard a game to go in there if you don't love the sport. If I didn't have boxing in my, in my heart, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. No, no way. And if, the, if, if our boxers didn't have boxing in the heart, unfortunately, they're not our boxers anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why you know, Graham's the same. And you've got John Thaxton yeah. in the corner. You know, you'd Liam Walsh, the current British and Commonwealth champion, yeah. doing the bucket tonight. Yeah. That's what Team Spurs yeah, about. Yeah, it's all about it. No, that, know, that is Shamrock Boxing. That is Shamrock Boxing. Not on together. Going on, where, when, when, and where will we see Shamrock Boxing again? Uh, next show in this area now is Norwich on July the fifteenth. Uh, it was July the second. We've put it back to July the fifteenth. Because they've got something a little old shindig Lord Mayor's <laughs> procession or something in Norwich, they close the city off. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be back there on uh, July the 15th. Um, Shamrock Boxing is in other parts of the country in June and July. Mm -hmm. um, and we're over in Ireland uh, yeah. in, in Belfast. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. Exciting. Next, back in, yeah, uh, next time yeah. this area is back in Norwich. And then we'll be back in Braintree. We had such a welcome tonight. Yes, yeah, unreal. Um, nice venue. It's a nice venue, nice people. Um, the reception for us that we got was great. I can't ask for more. And we will be back in Braintree uh, with a with a bigger and better show, and a bigger and better event. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Raven, for having us. Ben is always on the events. Unreal show tonight. Thank you for saying that and thank you for your support as always. It's good to see you. Cheers. Thank you.